Well, hey, YouTube. So, Peepa and I once again have stumbled onto a little treasure of history here on the Beach Street in Ormond Beach, and it's an Indian burial mound. Come on and see what we saw. The Timucuan Indians were this region's most famous inhabitants. When the Spanish settlers arrived in Florida in the 1500s, they would have encountered Timucuan Indians, numbering in the thousands. And uh, historians say that across Northwest Florida and Georgia, there was probably more than 200,000 Indians there. Most of this tribe passed away in the early 1800s due to warfare and disease. And then experts say that probably those remaining Indians most likely joined forces with the Seminoles, which is probably why historians have difficulty finding uh, very extensive facts about out about the tribe. This mound is right here in the middle of a neighborhood, and they preserved it. In May of 1982, a local couple was looking forward to building their dream home where this mound is located and then they had a bulldozer there. It was ready to go to just remove this. The Ormond Beach city manager halted that work on that mound, one of the most intact Native American burial mounds in Eastern Florida. So that couple then sued the city for the land and then they later settled, which led to the preservation of this landmark. The Ormond Beach Historical Society was very instrumental in getting it to be approved as part of the National Historic Registry. The burial mound is probably about 1200 years old, was created by the Tamuqua people sometime after AD 800. And now, today, this site is known as the most intact Native American burial mound in Florida. This led me then to look into what were the burial practices that they followed. And they used charnel houses or bone houses to prepare the bodies. Um, and they were the people were laid out on wooden racks and allowed to decompose, being attended by high priests. And then after the bodies had dried away, each set of bones was bundled individually and then interred in a special ceremony. The pictures that you see here represent a burial, a burial ceremony. The description on the plate was that when a chief dies, he's buried with great solemnity and his drinking cup is placed on the grave and many arrows are planted in the earth around the mound itself. And then his subjects go into mourning for him for both a short and extended period of time. But today you can view this Ormond burial mound here on South Beach Street and Mound Avenue and they estimate that the Ormond Beach mound became the final resting place for over 100 Native Americans. This small bench that's nearby here allows people to sit and observe and reflect on the importance of this area. It's just an interesting look into the way of life of an ancient Native American people, the Tamukwa. You're amazing watching till the end and remember clicking and sharing helps others find the channel. So till next time guys, keep exploring life matters. See you later. Bye bye.